Hey everyone, it's Frank from uh, Minnesota Camping, and today I'm actually camping. I'm not stuck in my basement going through my gear. Uh, Minnesota's got some gorgeous weather out, 60 degrees. It's March 14th, and uh, so me and the kids are over in Wisconsin at Willow River State Park just doing some car camping. And I just wanted to kind of uh, run through what I normally bring for car camping. It's uh, I got this stuff ready in about 15 minutes. I keep my stuff pretty organized and it's pretty uh, well uh, put together, so I thought I would just uh, show you what I do. So. Uh, normally I don't keep my sleeping bags in here, but uh, uh, right now I have six sleeping pads, four sleeping bags, and the tent is all shoved in these two duffels. Uh, normally I would keep those in totes at home, but it's easy to load them up when you're ready to go. For uh, the cooking stuff, I keep everything in this bag, and that includes uh, the kids all have a light my fire kit, and they each have their own. Um, got some extra plates and then for a pot and pan set I use a, a GSI uh, I think this is a camp or backpack camper or something like that so that's what I use for uh, for cooking uh, sometimes they won't bring lanterns with but this time I decided to I got this one on a garage sale for a few bucks so I thought I would get a shot um, most of the time because of the fire their headlamps I don't need a lantern but this time I thought I'd give it a shot um, the poles uh, for the tent are here uh, all the kids' water bottles are in that bag. Um, they just all use uh, one of those. Uh, this is another garage sale find I found last year. It's an old uh, vintage Coleman uh, cooler. I only use this thing for one-nighters because it doesn't really keep, uh, keep things good for a few days. But it's, it's small enough. It's great for just a, an overnight. Uh, in this little thing, I keep all the, uh, the headlamps, some extra towels, um, I always bring an extra stove, extra fuel, um, some rope, and uh, lighters, stuff like that. So I keep all that stuff in this little uh, little bag. All my food, dry food, I should say, goes into a little uh, rubber, rubber-made roughneck, uh, just to keep it from not getting squished. I used to keep it in bags until I get to the campsite, and all my bread would have get smashed. Uh, now I keep it in a little tote. Uh, chips go in there. Everything that's dry. And then last, I bring this little suitcase thing, and this thing holds, um, you know, first aid kit, fuel, uh, the, the stove. Uh, this one's a little bit smaller. We're just doing a uh, quick overnight. Sometimes I'll bring my, my bigger double, uh, Coleman double fuel one, double burner one. The axe comes in here, uh, extension cord, anything I just think I need, extra stakes, uh, all that stuff gets uh, shoved in there. So, you know, like I said, this was uh, something I just, we decided to go. I threw all this stuff together in 15 minutes. Um, it's good to have, you know, kind of a place for everything. So when you're ready to go, you can just grab it and go. So uh, we're gonna get camp set up here and then maybe I'll get some video of that. Okay, here we are all set up with the tent. It's, this is uh, this is my Marmont Thor 3P. It's a four season tent, a three person, but uh, we're gonna sleep uh, five of us in here tonight, but we, I've had up to six and it's been fine. Um, we have all the sleeping bags lined up the, in the wrong way, the, but none of us are tall enough where it, it really matters, so we'll just sleep the, uh, the opposite way of what you're actually supposed to sleep in this tent. Um, it's also not going to rain tonight, so we're going to go without a rain fly and just just the, the uh, just have it just the, the the tent itself, which is still pretty waterproof even even without the rain fly. You can see there's not a lot of mesh on it um, because of the four seasons one. So uh, so this is this is what we're going to sleep in tonight. So hopefully uh, hopefully it doesn't rain, but if it does, I can always just uh, throw the uh, throw the rain fly back on there. As you can see, we have a ton of grass in here already but oh well whatever it's camping right so um all right so we're gonna go off walk to the falls and check out the uh willow river falls